Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the website performance ChatGPT plugin. All right, so before I would show you how to use the website performance ChatGPT plugin that you can use to measure key metrics about your website's performance, accessibility, best practices, SEO, and more, let's see some use cases. So my website, rihex.com, I have a full article on how to use the website performance SEO ChatGPT plugin. So let's go over some of the use cases, which I talk about also in the article. So you can use this plugin for website performance analysis. So basically analyze the performance of a website and identify areas that you can improve. You can also use it for SEO optimization. The website performance ChatGPT plugin can be used to identify SEO issues that could be affecting a website's ranking on search engines. You can use it for accessibility audit, best practices evaluation, competitor analysis, website redesign. You can also use it to monitor your websites, content optimization, and some more use cases. I also share in the articles some of the best ChatGPT prompts you can use the website performance chat GPT plugin with. So make sure to check out the article. I will link the URL of this article in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see an example on how to use the website performance ChatGPT plugin. So first, before you would be able to use the plugin, there's a process you have to go through if you haven't used plugins before or you haven't used the website performance ChatGPT plugin before. So if you do not know any of these steps of this process, I have tutorials on my channel that you can check out. But now let's go over these steps quickly. So first you have to be a plus subscriber to be able to use ChatGPT4 and, G and ChatGPT plugins. Then you have to enable plugins in your ChatGPT account. Then you have to click on new chat and select GPT-4 from the model selector. And then you have to select plugins from this drop down here. And then you're going to be able to enable the website performance ChatGPT plugin. If you haven't installed the plugin yet, you have to click on plugin store and then install the plugin. Once the plugin is, is installed, you have to click on this drop down arrow and make sure that the plugin is enabled. And you can see if a plugin is enabled by seeing the check mark next to the name of the plugin. If you cannot see the check mark, make sure to check the checkbox here. So now the website performance chat GPT plugin is enabled. So let's see a quick example. So I have added the following prompt, check the core web vitals course of this website, which is roihex.com. So you, of course you have to add the URL of the website or web page you want to check and also share some other performance metrics and areas for improvement. So if you want to get similar prompts, you can use this plugin with, check out the article I have mentioned below. So click on send message. And if you are using this ChatGPT prompt, ChatGPT is clever enough to know that it has to use the website performance ChatGPT plugin. So you can see that it has fetched the URL we have provided in the prompt. And now it's gonna use the power of this plugin to do a full Core Web Vitals audit for our website. And we're gonna be able to see what the Core Web Vitals metrics are for this rihex.com website. So, you know, FDI and all that SEO metrics, which is really important for technical SEO. You have to wait a couple of seconds for the plugin to do the full technical SEO audit. So as you can see, plugins are still in beta. And the reason for that is because sometimes you will get responses that there was an error while trying to measure the performance. But as you can see, it will try again. So let's see if it is successful right now. So as you can see, it, it has again given us this error that it couldn't do the performance audit. But let me show you that previously in five minutes ago, I done the same thing and we have received the Core Web Vital metrics by using this plugin. So as you can see, we also received an accessibility score of this web page, some performance metrics, uh, Core Web Vitals metrics are here, speed index is here, total blocking time can be also checked out here. And it also suggested some opportunities for improvement. So as you can see, the website performance plugin is kind of buggy, but when it works, it's kind of good technical SEO plugin that you can use. If you want to learn more about this plugin, make sure to check out the article below. And if you want to check out other ChatGPT plugins, 
that are not so buggy like this one, then I have a ton of SEO ChatGPT plugin tutorials on my channel and other not just marketing related but business productivity and other interesting ChatGPT plugin tutorials that you can check out on my YouTube channel. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.